So the first book I wanted to review is They Came With the Snow by Christopher Coleman and the whole titles They Came With the Snow, They Came With the Snow book one. There is a second book that I'm aware of but I have not read that one yet. Um, this particular one I have read a few months back so I'm going to try to do my best on what I remember about the book. So um, basically the story is that um, there was a cataclysm and there's snow whatever and there are these creatures for the most of the book that Dominic calls crabs. Um, you don't really find out until much later that these crabs are are actually zombies. And for someone who is really big into zombies, I found it really weird for him to say, oh yeah, they, I'm calling them crabs because they walk funny. Um, as far as I know, zombies and everything walk funny. Um, so Naya and Dominic are holed up in, t in Dominic's house. Um, he goes into a really long description about how he began an affair with Naya and, you know, r slash men writing women. Um, it's a really, really weird description of Naya. He's like, oh yeah, she's the most beautiful girl in my college. I want to date her. And he starts having an affair with her. Um, it's clear from the book that, you know, the wife left somehow in between everything. Um, so yeah, so they decide, Naya and Dominic decide to leave Dominic's house and there's suddenly 40 or 50 crabs outside his house and they barely make, barely make it to their, um, Dominic's truck and they eventually go to, um, a strip mall and so they see that there is some people at a diner and some people at a Thai food pl place. So they split up and Naya going to the Thai food place and Dominic going to um, the diner. And after some kerfuffling at the diner, um, they're like trying to figure out whether or not he's infected or a crab or what zombie. And they eventually let him in and during the time that, the, that he's talking to these people at the diner, they say, oh yeah, don't go to the Thai food place because they're, that family became zombies whenever this cataclysm first started and Dominic immediately freaks out. He runs to them and he's seen them be torn apart. There's another fight, whatever. And he's shocked that these zombies would attack people. Kind of strange if you're a big zombie fan. Um, so yeah, so Dominic decides that to have everybody pile up in his vehicle and take them away out of this area with all the, the crab zombies um and so as he's leaving one of the the guys i think his name is tom or tim or something like that said, starts saying that he needs to use the restrooms so they're like okay we're gonna just wait until we go to this rest stop at this uh this gas station and the gas station is about half an hour away they say in the book and so the guy doesn't want to wait that long so he gets out hops out of the, the truck and dominic follows him and they re he realizes over because um this guy tom or whatever he starts calling up the the fiddle room and, oh yeah the, like you know and dominic really f really figures out from this conversation that um the zombies were manufactured by the government and there's like warning signs how you can figure out there's going to be a zombie other than besides like obvious things like bites and whatever and then he piles everybody up back into his truck and drives to his house and um he says that he flips open the door and he sees a woman there and it's kind of like oh my love of my life and so it's like kind of vague so is it his wife or is it this girl naya so I guess that's like something to be let in on the second book. The second book is called, I think, The Melting. Um, as far as um, the book is concerned, this book, um, I thought it was, um, I was pretty surprised that it's all in all the story takes place on 38 pages, which is, I kind of felt like that he could have just combined this with the second book and just made it one big book instead of splitting them up. Um, the characters themselves are kind of bland. Um, he shouldn't be... The author, I thought, it did a terrible job of writing the female character and how 
Dominic described how he fell in love with her. That was kind of weird. Um, and the story is not really new. The only funny thing I thought was that it that the character decided to call them crabs instead of zombies. So yeah, I don't know if I'll read the second one, but if people are interested in seeing me read the second one, um, yeah, I'll let me know. And I was thinking, I because I saw a couple of YouTubers before um, read short stories online, so I wasn't really thinking of reading that one online, so if you're interested, comment. Thanks. Bye.